so you prepare this uh, behavior part which is mostly from the rhythm circadian rhythm as it's ever so in the behavior rhythm definition of a rhythm what is a rhythm a rhythm has been defined as a sequence of events that repeat themselves through the time in the same order and the same interval very important to understand is defined as a sequence of events that repeat themselves through the time in the same order and the same interval that is known as rhythm now rhythm is a periodically recurring event right we can call it a periodically recurring event because it's been recurring with time many behavioral patterns of organisms are subject to rhythmic variations in response to various external geographical rhythms in the environment okay we'll see some examples biological rhythms are those rhythms that arise in, in organisms to match external geophysical rhythms with comparable period so there are examples of biorhythms that originated inside organisms inside living organisms with match with the external geophysical conditions so based on the lunar cycle if something of organism's body some process is regulated that is one sort of biorhythm for example a biorhythm means a periodic occurrence of specific physiological changes in living organism specific periodical physical changes in living organisms now this is a pattern and parameters of rhythm here you can see each biological rhythm is composed of repeating units these repeating units like something like this repeating units are known as cycles the length of time required to complete an entire cycle is known as period so this is the length to complete the cycle this is known as the period the magnitude of the change in activity rate during the cycle and difference between the peaks are known as amplitude so this is known as amplitude at what amplitude it is being changing so cycle period amplitude okay repeating unit cycle the time taken to complete the cycle is period and the amplitude i mean the difference between the peaks and the length is known as the amplitude okay and you can see this is simple levels and this is a cycle night and day so time frame is listed this cycle is continuously repetitive leave occurring so this is an example of biorhythm okay any specified recognizable part of the cycle is known as a phase in this case the phase is daytime night time which is a recognizable part of the cycle is phase so this is a phase where the night time it increases in the daytime it falls so you can see the amplitude increases in the night falls during the daytime so it may be something related to the sleep hormones melatonin for example okay so this is known as a phase which is a recognizable part of this so what are the properties of biological rhythm biorhythms are self sustaining pacemaker mechanism so they don't need any external cues to continue they are self sustain in nature biorhythms maintain their normal cyclicity even in the absence of environmental cues without the environmental cues even the rhythm continues so that's why our body clock normally prepares us for sleep normally so even though you don't know whether it's morning or night time your body will prepare for sleep in that particular set point of the time biorhythms are unaffected by metabolic poisons or inhibitors so if you use metabolic poisons or inhibitors they are not going to change the bio biological rhythm in your body biorhythms are genetically transmitted okay 
Now among all this type of biorhythms, here are some examples in circadian rhythm, which is based on daily rhythms. Our body has uh, many daily rhythms. Sleep age cycle is one of the example of daily rhythms. There are circadial rhythms, circalunar, moon phase rhythms. There are some other examples like that. Among them, the most important is zitzibar. Zitzibar. What is zitzibar? A zitzibar is any external or environmental cue that entrains or synchronizes an organism's biological rhythm to Earth's 24 hour light dart circle and 12 month cycle. Any of the biological rhythm that synchronizes with Earth's 24 hour light dart cycle or 12 month cycle. They are known as zitzibar. So, zitzibar are a type of biological rhythm, but none are synchronized with the Earth's light day or 12 month cycle. Example, light, temperature, social interactions, pharmacological manipulations, exercise, eating, drinking patterns. These are all examples. So, zitzibars induce change in the concentration of the molecular components of the clock to levels the consistent with the appropriate stage in the 24 hour cycle, a process termed as known as entrainment. Basically, any of this change in light, temperature, social interactions, pharmacological manipulation is taking drugs, exercise, eating or drinking and changing the eating drinking pattern. Any of these factors, they are going to add and alter in this case, modify the concentration of any molecular factors or components in the body which associate itself in the 24 hour cycle of body. And the change in that 24 hour cycle, cycle because of this modification or manipulation alters our body to behave differently. And that is known as the entrainment. Now, one such example I can tell you is that jet lag is one example. When a person is flying of a different uh, time zone, so the, the particular day, night cycle in the body is altered. So, internal clock maintains a uh, day, night cycle. And externally, if you go outside, the, the, that is something different. So, based on the match, a mismatch of this sleep wake cycle, a mismatch of this light dart cycle, the body reacts differently because body try to follow the existing pattern. But in that case, change in light or change in any of the social interactions or any of the features that alters and they try to match it with the body's clock. So basically imagine there are two clocks. Internal, there's a clock in our body is working on its own and now you're moving to some different time zone, there's a different clock. So both the clock need to synchronize. So in order to synchronize, that process is known as the entrainment and the entrainment need to be done. And the and entrainment will be done by alteration of the body based on all these factors that's light, temperature, social interaction, pharmacological manipulation, exercise and eating, drinking patterns in that area. Okay. So, example of zitzibar in animals. So, some example, let me, uh, the terrestrial organisms light dart cycles daily. Sleep wake cycle, that is a part of zitzibar. Intertidal marine animals, they have flow of tides and blockage of tide flow. Both examples. And ectotherms like lizards and insects, they have temperature as a jibber, light as a jibber because the temperature is important for them to be ready for hibernation time. So temperature is a very key important factor and parameter there. Small mammals, cycle of food availability, social cues. The environmental cues particularly, cycle of food availability is acting as a part of zitzibar, which is synchronized to the Earth's either 24-hour cycle or 12-month cycle. So, biological markers to find the biorhythm in human body. The classic phase markers for measuring the timing of mammal circadian rhythm are, what are the examples? Melatonin secretion by the pineal gland. As I mentioned earlier, in the night, daytime cycle or way sleep cycle the sleep hormone is very important in our body the sleep hormone is melatonin which is secreted by the pineal gland right and melatonin helps us our, and keep our body prepared prepare our body for sleeping ready 
for sleeping okay so if melatonin is secreted more amount during day time you will feel sleepy but generally secreted when the day time is over so it's synchronized with the earth's day night cycle right that's how it's synchronized and if you are living in the same time zone area and if the day night cycle shifted let's say throughout the years your melatonin secretion will also be shifted as it is because so synchronization always is on second is the core body temperature in our body that's another very important factor change in that can help us understand if there is anything that altered the bio biological rhythm or circadian rhythm if you alter the body temperature core body temperature change will shift it. many things because core body temperature uh, the body temperature that we maintain is responsible for protein synthesis and all the cellular activities in the body so if you change that many important proteins will not be produced which will be needed for synchronization of the body's clock to the environment's uh, environment plasma level of cortisol is another important parameter so these are the three important parameters that we measure uh, for finding out changes to the circadian rhythm melatonin secretion core body temperature change and plasma level of cortisol now what are the criteria of a circadian rhythm so not all the biological rhythm are circadian particularly among the zigzibert type among the biological rhythm type circadian rhythm is one type as we mentioned earlier circa lunar rhythm is another type so to be called as circadian rhythm there are some parameters a rhythm need to suffice what are the parameters they should meet the four general criteria what are the criteria the rhythm repeat once a day at least it repeats once a day so the wake sleep cycle works once a day in 24 hours period the rhythm persists in the absence of external cues that means the rhythm must be endogenous in origin right even if there is no environmental cue still the rhythm will be there the rhythms can be adjusted to match the local time it can be adjusted to match the local time so that is it should be entrainable even though you have a jet lag you go some place else you have a jet lag how many days two days three days even maximum a week then you will be back to normal life because your body's clock will be synchronized to that sleep wake cycle to that clock right so it's entrainable it must be entrainable and the rhythms maintain circadian periodicity over a range of physiological temperatures they exhibit temperature compensation so what do you mean by that so the rhythm maintains circadian periodicity over a range of temperatures even though you alter the temperature in different temperature frame if you check 5 degree or 2 degree celsius different gaps you see that uh, rhythm will be maintained even though you are changing the temperature increasing or decreasing the temperature they will be maintained they try to maintain that here okay so compensation of temperature means even though it, the rhythm need to be conducting the proper temperature in one particular temperature not about the body's temperature i'm talking about the environmental temperature because change in core body temperature will alter but the temperature of the environment due to the 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 chance of entrainability because the rhythm always try to be entrainable should be entrained so they try to manage the change in temperature that is known as the compensation of change in temperature okay so compensation of change in temperature that is done now one such example uh, of uh, this rhythm or rhythm based disease time zone changes the time zone change disorders dysomnia this is known as the jet lag like insomnia is the problem with sleeping okay so dysomnia is associated with rapid time zone change also known as jet lag is due to the dysynchrony between the endogenous sleep wake cycle and the light dark cycle symptoms include an inability to sustain sleep and excessive sleepiness so these are the symptoms with jet lag inability to sustain a sleep or excessive sleepiness either of that can result for most people these symptoms subside after a few days depending on the number of time zones the person crossed based on that but it gets resolved now there are some hormonal circadian rhythms like growth hormone the growth hormone increases during sleep and decreases during wake state in our body the growth hormones always produce more 
in the sleep time. Cortisol, highest during the morning, lowest during the sleep. The opposite of that of the growth hormone. Prolactin resembles like growth hormone cycle. So again, increase during sleep and decrease during wake cycle. Aldosterone peaks in the afternoon and declines in the evening. Start in the afternoon, peaks in the afternoon, declining in the evening. Testosterone low in the afternoon, high in the night. So these are hormonal cycles. Okay. So these are the things that you need to remember, you need to know from this part because you'll find question from Zijibar, you'll find question from circadian rhythm and basic idea regarding the properties of rhythm and uh, why would you call it as a circadian rhythm right what are the parameters and some disease are examples just we saw sleep wake cycle disease like that, like that.